Hello everybody, today I have the pleasure to propose to you this new key 66 entitled Astral Travel and Out of Body Experience. So, as usually, we're gonna split up in four steps, four parts or four chapters. The first one would be uh, a kind of definition of the concept concretely, also precising the difference between both astral travel from one side and uh, from the other side the uh, out-of-body experience, which are two different things. Secondly, we'll see um, the reason for being of both of them, let's say. And third and fourth, we'll see around 20 different techniques and around 10 or dozen of advices. All right, so, but also in the, in the definition, I will uh, spend a little bit of time just after um, um, to describe and to share with you my humble experience of the first one, or let's say the more significant one I had in 2001, when I was 20, 21 years old. And it was really, really um, incredible experience. I talked about that and I tried to 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 retranscript into the the book I wrote entitled Sage Passage Utopia in English translated in English and for which the character described um, his own experience of astral travel but which is mine actually and so and it was really really complex so i'm gonna try to share a little bit i will not spend so much time and um, one thing very important before starting uh, this is only humble um, testimony okay this is true for this key for astral travel and or for out of body experience both are exactly as before the the dark night of the soul this is personal approach same for everything same for spirituality same for um, life in general okay it is according we are all unique and we are unique um, experience and uh, different ways of perceiving things and so on it's a question of uh, personality sensitivity and so on and so forth okay so um a lot of people uh, testify things regarding out of body experience and or astral travel this is the only one is not true or wrong this is what they have or what they felt okay so same for me what i try to share with you is just uh, subjective necessarily because it's only my point of view my perception my angle of vision of the rubik's cube as i said many times okay well um just to to make it short at the beginning okay both of them are uh, astral travel and or um out of body experience both of them are altered uh, consciousness okay this is alter state of consciousness concretely to make it short it means that uh, your um, waves your waves brain are not the same that in a normal state of consciousness okay so it's the same principle when you meditate and or even worse when you dream when you sleep and you dream you have an access to other uh, let's say information okay it's uh, like a different colors and so on, different, uh, sometimes it's completely crazy and so on, but this is accessing to different vibration, that's the point. Okay, so to, to make the difference between astral travel and uh, out-of-body experience, uh, we could say that um, astral um, out-of-body experience is quite soft. Okay, what do I mean? Um, it is just, in a certain extent, uh, just going out of your body okay i explain a little bit to make it simple okay so our consciousness is not necessarily linked to our brain okay this is referring to the key 18 consciousness okay um so the thing is is just you have a um, physical body and then we have a uh, several okay uh, subtle bodies okay like uh, astral body uh, Ethereal uh, body and so on and so forth, but let's say subtle bodies. Okay, they are not tangible. Okay, that you cannot touch is only vibratory, is only vibration frequencies and energy. That's it. Okay, so it's a question to and stick to to separate your consciousness that you think. Okay, that you think it is 
within your body, okay, to extend. It's, it's, it's expanding your consciousness, okay? So you expand to um, a larger scale towards your subtle uh, body, okay? So that's the point. So concretely, how it is um, manifested, how you can see it concretely, it's like if you uh, you are out of your body, so uh, you can see your body, I mean your physical body, from your consciousness, from your subtle body, okay? So you have weird perception because you are just one meter uh, upper your you bed, for example. So you see yourself, you have the feeling you're dead, so it's a bit um, uh, concerning and shocking at the beginning, of course, if you're not prepared, but that's it. Then um, you can go higher. It means uh, up to the to the floor or in the in other rooms of your uh, your house and or in the neighborhood and so on in the in different streets and so on and even the furthest fur, um, I mean the the, the, the the furthest way would be probably another country another continent the universe. But let's say it's still in um, a kind of reality. Okay, the universe. All right, uh, astral projection, astral travel, astral journey, concretely, is different. It's higher level of, co of consciousness, okay? It's the same phenomenon as when you dream. When you dream, is not real. You know, I mean, it's not that it's not real. It's not tangible, right? It's um, you have access to different sphere of consciousness, sphere of realities. That's the point. It's the same for astral travel, okay? The same for astral travel. Then astral travel, you have like spheres of consciousness. You can go higher and higher and further and further and so on and so forth, okay? So, but it's a question of vibration and question of consciousness. That's really important for you to understand the principle. Okay, so I said it is getting out of your body. Uh, allowing you uh, to to clear your mind in a certain extent, it's a physical and mental uh, ego, uh, let's say, uh, freedom. Huh? Because at this moment, you experience um, the fact. This is expansion of consciousness. Huh? So <clears throat> you don't feel anymore the the prison, the jail of that represent the ego, okay, your mass, your face, and so on, uh, your limited, your capacity, and so on, so far, this is, uh, you free up. Huh? This is literally as, uh, you know, the, um, the frequencies of the um, radio. Uh, radio, you take the, 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 the electronic device, and according to the, you know, the tuner, okay, you can change FM, okay, um, free waves, uh, maybe it's music, okay? It's playing music. And then you change it and you go only on uh, MW, uh, middle waves, you will have some uh, the news, newspaper, for example, uh, news, um, uh, breaking news, for instance. Um, and LW, low waves, would be, for example, uh, I don't know, a sport, okay? So you get, you catch different information regarding your um waves i mean your brain and uh, the, the, the 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 vibration of your brains okay so that's uh, also for me very important point is vital is existential and uh, it's like a prisoner uh, would need to get out of his own cell okay so um that's why we can see the in the the mind kind we can see in many culture uh, this is present, it's prevalent, we'll see later on, <clears throat> but in addition of that, that's why also so many people are addicted, okay, are addicted, that's why a lot of people take drugs, alcohol, and, and so many things to reach back this this notion of um, um, higher consciousness, because what you get through it, okay, concretely, is to come back to the point of uh, the key one, uh, duality, okay? I explained several times also in the key three, reconnection and so on. Before, uh, let's say, uh, <laughs> coming on earth, let's say, to, to, be, to, uh, to, to be embodied, also to embody in uh, the density, the materiality, we are part of the great, the great wall, okay? The big all, okay? Let's say the absolute, everything. So, 
but we need to filter this and we need to to separate from this uh, everything otherwise if you are everything you are nothing also because you don't see uh, if everything is uh, green uh, i cannot see green anymore i need to have another color to to make the duality and the separation to emphasize to highlight and so on light, uh, light darkness and so on this is always the principle of duality so as i say many times to exist means literally to separate okay so to exist we need to separate from this wall okay so this we are a little bit frustrated consciously or consciously since our childhood okay since we are here okay so we try by different ways to find it back okay drugs alcohol and so on so far that's why there is natural ways and that's why also this astral travel and decorporation uh, or out-of-body experience allows you to find back this unity this feeling of unity okay of uh, a connection to something higher for which you are not only you small ego the small cell you are a cell of a cosmic lung in a certain extent for you to understand the metaphor so this is um, um also important why i do this uh, this um, this video because um this is also to make some words for certain people and also to reassure why because a lot of people 90 percent okay what what is this survey <laughs> i don't know but apparently a lot of people the majority of people 90 percent of the the, the, the the people in in the world would have had this kind of experience so either they don't remember either they reject and they say okay this is was they they forget and or they reject saying it was bullshit it is for example a, a dream or whatever and so on but for those who, who which happen it allows to reassure in the sense that this is not uh, marginal is not exceptional is not uh, because you're crazy it's just um a kind of um glints and also an insight okay an insight is really literally this ah you have a vision for for you to open up okay so it's an invitation a springboard to open up your mind in the present life it means in the reality here huh? not over there so that's the point um 90 percent had after apparently after at least once in your in your life like lucid dream lucid dreams is more 60 percent lucid dream is a little bit different lucid dream is when you um you realize we realize re, you realize we realize the real eyes of the dreams in a certain extent you um, yeah you realize that this is a dream and this is fake so you enjoy and uh, you can do and handle whatever you want okay you want to punch someone uh, uh, you know it's a dream so it's not big deal okay it's more like this so 60 percent of people had already um, lucid dreams at least once uh, sleep paralysis 30 percent um, is different sleep paralysis is when um, you are um, you are aware so you are awake and you cannot move anymore because your body is still in i mean it's still dreaming and not your mind which is really concerning i had several times because you 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 shout and um, and you try to move you cannot it doesn't last so much time eh? a few minutes only but it's quite concerning and it's uh, even it's kind of trauma huh? to be frank with you well let's continue um and also with my um, humble um, testimony i told you i had that in 2001 okay that's i depict in um, in the the, the 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 book i told you sage passage utopia available on my website for free okay in english um so concretely um, i was coming back from england um, i was moving out and it was very late i was probably very exhausted and i started to go out of my body and to have the feeling to see myself like you know a vision of a drone you see so um, one meter a few meters 100 meters and so on and to see the 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 the, the, the road to see the, the the truck and so on and afterwards to go further 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 in the universe and even further okay so and at the beginning it was out of body experience simple one 
And then suddenly it became a uh, real deep astral travel for which I had really the feeling that I was, it's difficult to say. And because the words are missing, okay? This is only conceptual, okay? Contextual is the fact to live it, to feel it, okay? Talk to uh, a fish about uh, air, the fish will never understand, okay? And you will never understand each other. It's the same thing that the, the myth, uh, the allegory of the cave from Plato, okay? It's the same principle. It cannot be understood by those who were not out and saw the light. Huh? They are in the darkness and they are maintaining the darkness. They are even angry against him. They want to kill him because he tried to share something that they cannot represent, okay? So it's very hard to... Um, to explain with uh, simple words, um, because uh, with the words is limited. Huh? So, um, but it's also the same concept that um, if you try to, to talk about uh, um, love with someone who has never been in love, this is difficult for, for this person to, to perceive. But anyway, just to tell you, um, so there was no space time. I mean, it was the feeling that I was everything, okay? I was a part of the great all, of, a, uh, of everything, God, whatever, and I, w I could feel that, I could feel this incredible love and um, let's say everything was perfect and I was missing ever anything, you know, I was missing absolutely anything and the, the full satisfaction, the, 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 the peaceful um, mind and so on, everything was just perfect. And in addition of that, I, I, I had a very large vision, like uh, 360 degrees, okay, like, uh, well, it's impossible to explain. Um, and also with some visions of, I was taught about space-time, saying that it um, was like a screen everywhere with different scenario of the past and so on, like a domino. And each, uh, it, it was like if everything was like picture and a sum of picture with many scenarios everywhere at the same time, um, taking place at the same time, like the multiverse uh, taking time happening at the same time. Okay, so different now here everywhere with different scenarios. So, and in addition of that, I was able and capable to receive like a, a lot of information and to to be to be everywhere at the same time. Meaning that I was thinking about something I don't know, uh, uh, ancient Greece, and I was immediately uh, at this period of time, and I had the knowledge of that. I was taught like um, with the common thread of the. Um, of the of humanity and the knowledge of humanity with uh, Atlantis, Lemuria, and so on, so far, that the concept I even didn't know before. So, where it, where did it come from? Okay, if I didn't know that, how could I know this kind of thing through this this moment? Uh, it's really the fact to to have access to a kind of. Uh, library, you know, the, 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 the universal library, this is what we call the Akashic Records or the um, unthink, um, Collective Unthinking, and this is a, a psychoanalysis, but it was really, really um, strange because, yeah, I received many information for which it was like a, a quantum, it's, it's like a block of information. <laughs> You receive immediately, you understand, like a golden number, like uh, many basics, and also with a common thread and everything uh, properly um, entangled and very well explained. But after that, uh, it was extremely difficult to re-explain, to unfold um, all this information and to put as a good uh, in, in form, in a certain extent, to be intangible, to be understandable for people. Because the words were missing, is that, you know, even there was some uh, some colors, some music, some sound that I never heard or never seen. How you can explain that? Okay, um, so it was very very hard. So it was like magic. It was amazing. It was um, um, really for me uh, like opening a gate for which. Um, it's like um, a dam and you receive all the information. But it can be dangerous because 
to be frank with you, I was really afraid. It it lasts um, 24 hours, for which I was I was physically here. I could go and walk and so on and so on. I, I didn't talk at all, but I was like uh, probably a vegetable. But I could walk automatically and so on. But I was outside somewhere else, and uh, it was very fascinating, interesting, and so on. Then I came back after 24 hours, but uh, to come back to my normality, um, my normal state of mind, I took one week, seven days. And frankly speaking, I was re so I was completely uh, reintegrated in my body. But um, during one week, I received always, I had like a voice talking to me all the time. I was receiving still some information. It was really interesting, but it was tiring. I could not concentrate anymore. I remember I was coming back from England. Uh, my level in English was not supposed to be so bad. And for the TOEFL or TOEIC on 200, I had five something, five on 200, which is super bad. Why? Because I could not concentrate. I could not listen to, uh, you know, the audio and the, the dialogue to explain uh, what was inside and so on, because I was receiving other information and for me it was much more interesting. So this is one of the danger. First, uh, I had the feeling to be, uh, it was fun at the beginning and then honestly I was scared because I thought I was completely crazy. I was, I thought, uh, yeah, I did something wrong or something, uh, uh, yeah, I had uh, a, <laughs> a shift in my mind and uh, maybe I was blocked, you know. So um, it's dangerous for this part. And also another point is to um, to reintegrate a normal life. Why? Because it's so great. It's so great experience that one of the dangers is to run away from reality because um, it's not supposed to escape. It's not supposed, it's supposed to open up you uh, your consciousness, for you to come back here more peaceful, more serene, more, uh, let's say, uh, uh, in harmony, more uh, confident and so on regarding the process of life. And it's not a finality. It's not something for fun. It's not something to run away, to escape and so on. I insist very much. It's not recreative. It's not for fun. Okay? It's sacred and also it is... Um, it can happen only once, it can happen twice and so on, but it's not supposed to do it all the time, once again. Um, this is the same principle than um, the alter, uh, alter state of consciousness that you get through uh, ayahuasca, for example. Well, personally, I respect those who, who do, I don't do, I prefer having some shamanic ritual with, um, let's say, fasting, uh, with uh, drums, with um, hyperventilation and so on. Is up to me, okay? It's um, so it's more difficult like this than taking some substance. But let's say that is not for fun. It's not for fun. This is just to open up your mind, and then you come back to the normal life, okay? So uh, those who then they cannot uh, reinsert in the normal life. Uh, everything is vain. Everything is dull, and so on. this is possible. It's the same thing that those who used to take some hard drugs. Life, when you come back, is dull, okay? Just have, um, I don't know, just uh, barbecue with friends, uh, just uh, to, to go to cinema, go to, I don't know, any kind of uh, entertainment, uh, playing football with your kid and so on. It's simple and it's amazing. But once you have this perception of uh, everything is dull. So this is one of the danger of the astral travel. If you take it for fun, and secondly, if you take it as a finality and if you are a kind of addict of it. So, what's the... Um, it was also for me to, to explain that uh, my experience, which is not ex everything, because I explained a little bit more um, in Sage Passage Utopia, and also um, I had really the, info, the, the, the feeling, and I had the feeling for 20 years, okay, more than 20 years, 21 years, um, regularly, every week maybe, I have like remembrance of one element I've been taught at this moment. And I say, oh, yes, okay, I understand. I, I get it. It's like uh, you go to a um, uh, bookshop and you buy 30 books, okay? You like them and so on. And you say, okay, you stock them and you know that they are at home. And uh, one day, a few years later, maybe you will have finished all of them. Uh, you will not read them straight away, of course, but you have... 
um, in stock, okay, at disposal. It's the same thing, actually. Well, anyway, it was just one of part of my humble experience. Well, what's the reason for being in the, let's say, the, the field of application of uh, astral travel and eventually uh, out of body experience? The first one is obvious, is to be in harmony. Um, it's like taking a vacation in a certain extent, especially for work alcoholic, it's like uh, um, you go out of a certain form of reality for which the materiality and so on disappear. You take a, le um, a certain distance, detachment for everything. So it's like, uh, yeah, taking a vacation. Um, then you are more anchored, you are more grounded into life. If you avoid the, 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 the trap of being dependent on this, of course. Um, third, it's an excellent palliative to cope with drugs and addiction, alcohol and so on. Um, it brings for a peace as well. You are more peaceful, you are more serene, as I said, the, especially with the relationship with death. Why? Because normally, if you see different things, you feel more confident because you can see some ancestors, you can have a, an access to different parts of history and so on. So you realize that uh, space-time is not exactly linear, is not exactly uh, um, it's finished forever and so on. Everything takes place at the same moment, okay? <laughs> this is quite difficult to understand, referring to the key uh, 15, if you want, and 16. Um, space-time and uh, present time. So this is an inner journey as well to discover yourself, but your true self, not your ego. Huh? It's an experience of your true self. Okay, as uh, the philosophy of Delpha, Delf, Delpha, yeah, uh, in Greece, um, know thyself and you will know the secret of God and the universe. This is the principle. Okay, so you because you contain the universe and the universe contains you. Okay, so have, this is like a reciprocal, okay, it's like a resonance. So, but this is a way for you to analyze. You can perceive yourself or say differently with your mask and so on, and to even have a certain uh, self derision, okay, self uh, laughing. Um, it can transmute also some fears, okay. Transmute means that you, you take it out, the bad energy of something, of a fear and so on. So it's like in a dream. In a dream, um, if for example a spider or whatever, a wolf is, uh, um, I mean, is, is following you and you are afraid and so on. If for example you say, you don't exist. It, or you, you repeat just a mantra of protection, a prayer and so on, poof, disappear immediately. It's the same, so it's transmuted. It means that it is solved. The problem is solved. It's like uh, um, you discharge the bad energy that you have towards this event, okay, or this element. So um, that's why it's, it can be also very important. Some um, different points also I wanted to, to mention for you to, 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 to try to understand better. Um, once again, I, I insist so much, is not to escape, is not to run away, is not to flee reality. It is a way to open up your mind, open up your consciousness, your heart, and thereby to be more anchored and to live more peacefully. Um, it's not new age, it's not fashionable, it's not a recent process, okay? Absolutely not, it's not belonging to new age. It is belonging to um, the world heritage. It exists everywhere in the um, dream yoga um, uh, from Tibetan, uh, it exists uh, in the Hinduism, in many, many cultures, and especially the primitive uh, civilization, okay, past and current. Okay, so this is a part of, um, let's say, the the, 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 the the human memories, the mankind memories. It's Anchoring, I insist again, it's um, widening, uh, widening, sorry, widening your consciousness to enlarge your consciousness. This is a springboard to have a better life with completement, okay, completeness. Um, it occurs uh, also uh, for positive aspect and or for negative. A negative can be, uh, um, you know, um, when you have a um, you're attacked or you have an accident because of the pain and so on, you switch to coma. 
is to preserve you. It's the same principle. So uh, you can do an out-of-body experience because of too much um, suffering, okay, uh, physical or emotional. But on the other way around, it can be also because you are too happy. It happened to me in 2006 when I went to um, a special ashram in um, a temple in, um, in, uh, in, in Delhi, in India. Um, the name is um, Akshadram. It was, uh, it, it was just built in 2006. It was a recent one. It was just amazing. It was amazing. It was a show, an interactive show and so on. There was music and there was fountain of uh, colors and so on. And one moment I was so happy that I, <coughs> like a bottle of champagne, I explode. And I, I saw myself just, uh, it was only out of body experience, but I saw myself very, um, like, uh, I don't know, 50 uh, meters. And then I came back and I had like uh, tears, like uh, of, of joy, of uh, extreme joy. But I was, had the feeling also of frustration not to be able first to live again this moment. And secondly, uh, to share with people because also in this temple it was forbidden to take some picture for the principal to live entirely completely uh, this present moment and not to try to bring back okay so it was a metaphor so anyway it can happen for positive or negative so let's try to see around 20 different techniques um, there is much more than that uh, you can see uh, explore there is hundreds and hundreds try to see what's vibrate the most well there is different approach, either the direct approach or the indirect. Direct is when you want to start being awake, okay? And direct is once you have already slept, okay? You slept already, like uh, you wake up during the night or the early morning and or after a nap, for instance, okay? So, um, I really recommend the second one because the indirect is much more easier. Okay, you can try also. The, the, the first one is more difficult. So, um, let's try to so imagine. So, for example, one of the good technique is to use a glass of water for which you give the intention to um, to to do the out of body experience and or astral travel. Okay, so before sleeping, like this, you send to your unconsciousness this desire to the universe, your intention and so on. You drink the glass, okay, and let you put uh, near your bed, okay? Normally, if you drink enough, you're gonna wake up during the night after finishing a cycle, a circadian cycle, okay? It can be two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. It's completely up to your metabolism. Okay, so then uh, you go to, to pee and you come back, okay? So seeing the glass, <laughs> It will reaffect the notion of auto conditioning, and then as you are, uh, let's say, relax your body, your temperature, your, your body temperature is uh, relaxed, and this is the best moment to try again. That's techniques we're gonna see. Okay, the first one is to visualize. So you stay uh, laid on, of course, and you visualize. You visualize, and you don't do, of course, that you roll up. Okay, from the left to the right and uh, you do um, different times okay uh, a few minutes if you need the second one is um, you imagine that you rise okay literally like peter pan okay you rise okay you uh, levitate in a certain extent um, 50 uh, 50 centimeters one meter from your body Okay, you visualize that. Then um, you do some movement in general. It can be swimming, can be kicking, can be uh, uh, paddling, can be uh, uh, boxing, whatever. Okay, punching, uh, whatever. Okay, so, but you do that a maximum. Then to visualize rubbing your hands. Okay, this also is another technique. Um, the rub, the rub is quite known, is you visualize a rub for which you gonna ascend, okay? So you think, you feel your uh, subtle body um, ascending, okay? Not your physical body, once again, I insist. Another way is, um, is the scale, okay? The scale, so you can imagine, um, uh, sorry, a scale uh, with, uh, uh, is the same principle, okay? It's a different visualization, but it's the same, it's an, another technique. 
stairs as well either you go up either you go down okay it can be uh, like this whatever it can be strength you don't care about the detail this is in marble in wood and so on the stairs you don't care it's just to have the feeling to to their place okay to move from to have a, an action okay that's the point um to swing also you can imagine you are on the on the swing yeah, for example for kids and or uh, a hammock or uh, can be uh, on a boat for example uh, something like repetitive like this okay you move um, you can also um, use a, um, a uh, let's say um, an object um, something that you touch regularly a, a bracelet uh, jewelry um, it can be your nose or whatever and or you sell uh, your cell phone for example and uh, you do it again uh, when you want to um, you, uh, you do your uh, projection okay so you visualize that through your subtle body okay will activate something special it can be also a repetitive um, um, uh, action okay like uh, it can become a habit okay like uh, for example we use also this technique for the lucid dream you say you repeat yourself many times during the day maybe 30 40 times uh, you ask yourself i am awake or i am sleeping okay during the day like this during the night you have a lot of chance to wake up and um, by asking you this question okay so it's the same principle but for this one you try to say um, you try to, 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 to have this, this feeling of repeating if you are in your body or out of your body. Um, you can also have the, the, the feeling of your, um, the sensation of your body inflating and, or, and then um, deflating, okay? Inflating, deflating, okay? So either super high, super high, super high, like a bubble of light and you go uh, till the planet, the size of the planet, and all just like one meter and like a breath, okay? Like a breath, so inflating, deflating, for instance. Another one is to the projection on the place, um, uh, on, the, on the mirror, for example, okay? You go on in front of the mirror and you try to observe yourself, okay? It's create also a sort of detachment as well um, the visualization of floating okay so you float in your in your room for example and um, also another one is the flight to have the feeling to flight okay to to fly sorry so you can uh, if you had an experience of it for real or and uh, you never uh, it you could also watch some uh, some certain videos um, with drones or people um, with view you know um, overview on a, on a landscape mountain and so on and this helps as well so the more you visualize this the more you can be able to do it as well so um, um, you can also do this with your eyes you know uh, from the left to the right and so on doing like this it's a bit weird to do that like this but uh, or no uh, to up to down and so on you know actually this is the basis you can do better if you um, recreate what we call rem uh, rapid eye movement this is what you have before sleeping so usually it's like this except normally your eyes are closed okay so um, let's say you can uh, accelerate that and by doing that usually it's uh, facilitate accelerate the process of getting a new state of consciousness and for this is a passage a uh, springboard for the out of body experience same for the visualization of the third eye if you are really focusing on this point you can do it better um, the preparation uh, also uh, to if you do uh, um, direct uh, technique or if you want to to re reinform this uh, relaxation uh, you can you know engage um, hardly each member okay as we saw huh, in the in the key 23 in the key uh, 28 with the inner child uh, uh, meditation and also uh, reprogramming uh, key 35 okay so it's the same process you start uh, from the the top or the, the, the i mean from the the, the feet till the the head or the contrary from the head to the, to the and you you engage each member okay so for example your hands 10 seconds 
you release. Okay, you engage, you release. And you do for all your members and at the end, everything at the same time. And then, whew, and you imagine that you wait like tones. Okay, you cannot move anymore. So this facilitates also. Um, I invite you as well to write, to write your intention. Like, um, I uh, go out of my body now. Okay, and you do several times. It's like auto conditioning. You can also repeat it, okay, during the day, like uh, ceaselessly, okay, like a mantra. Um, it's kind of uh, auto condition, uh, auto conditioning from the, the method from the French uh, psychoanalyst uh, Coué. Okay, uh, there is thousands of other, uh, thousand, exaggerate, hundreds of uh, other techniques. Some advice I can give you um, is um, a good preparation. Avoid to have a full stomach. Okay, it's better to. That's why, if you are stressed, if you are not uh, tired enough, and so on, forget it. Okay, it's better to do it another time. Very important, the motivation. The different, uh, the motivation doesn't mean that you are stubborn. If you're stubborn, you have much more to activate the, the, the desire, the, just the, the will. Okay. So, um, this is not, it will refrain actually your process. It's better just to be motivated enough. Okay. With good intention. Good intention means it's for good reason. Try to write on a paper some objectives. Okay. Symbolically. Um, for you, huh? this is personal, not uh, for fun, not to see. <laughs> the beautiful uh, uh, neighbor uh, in the in the shower uh, no it's not that it's not to see uh, the lucky draw number for uh, for gaining money and so on it's not that also okay there is a kind of ethics a kind of morality uh, in this dimension okay so um it's important also to do it regularly okay not only once and then it doesn't work let's uh, forget uh, about it okay because Concretely, uh, why is important the regularity? It doesn't mean necessarily every day, but at least a few times a week. It's like when you learn a language. If you learn just a few words uh, every six months, it's useless. Okay, you will forget every time. Okay, so regularly also, a lot is not only your memory, it's, um, it's activating your energy. Of you, you accumulate energy. So even if you think it's a failure, it's not a failure. It's you create it, you create it, create it certain energy until a certain threshold, a critical threshold for which then it can appear, appear later on, thanks to what you did before. That's why it's important to, to, uh, uh, to do it regularly and uh, on a long term uh, run and uh, with a long term uh, state of mind um, and to say to yourself that you're gonna uh, do it and uh, it will happen at the proper time uh, on time. <laughs> um, so this is the notion of still of self uh, conditioning, reprogramming, key uh, referring to the key uh, we saw together 35. Um, this is definitely a system of somatics, that's to say placebo, literally in, in Latin it means I heal, okay? It means if I'm convinced about something and I'm positive, I co-create it. If I'm afraid of something and I think it will never work, it will never work. In both cases, you are co-creator, okay? That's the point. So, um, another thing, don't be afraid and be confident and it will happen when it's happened, okay? Be patient as well. Um, don't attend, I mean, don't try if you're too tired, you risk to, to go for sleeping and not to forget, to, to, to remember. Um, this is also good. I told you to wake up during the night. This is what I recommend by uh, uh, knowing your cycle for which you, you, you wake up naturally or just for turning from one side to another. Uh, maybe uh, at three or two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, but during the night, okay, this is really important. It can be also early morning, okay, just before uh, or just after your alarm clock just uh, um, uh, ring. Um, this is also possible. Why? Because you are relaxed and your mind is relaxed and most of the time is largely easier to empty your mind and to project yourself, okay? So, um, I invite you also to do... Um, 
you know, 45 degrees sometimes because it's a low to, to go to, I mean, to, to fall asleep. That's the point. Um, then um, I invite you to have a, 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 a dreams a diary. Why? Because um, dreams is a special language for yourself, for you uh, to decipher for you to decode, for you to, you have the master key. If you show me your dreams diary, I'm sure it will not evoke nothing. I mean, it will not evoke anything for me. It is only some, your private language. Okay. It can be some archetypes uh, that we can share in terms of uh, mankind. Yes, it's possible. But most of the time it's like an um, enigma. Okay, for which you are invited subtly um, to decipher, and uh, it's exciting, it's like adventure, it's a little bit like uh, Indiana Jones. So, I invite you to do it. There is other techniques also to access to out of body experience or altered consciousness and or astral travel, uh, hyperventilation. I really invite you to watch the video. 23 okay for the concept for the let's say the explanation and secondly the practical uh, tests okay the the the, the, um, um, the guide meditation okay so um one of them is i'm not gonna do it again everything of course but if in your interest watch this video but one of them is the following, is hyperventilation, to make it short, it is um, you accelerate your rhythm, your pace of breathing, but you do as a cycle, you don't have any break, any pause between inhaling and exhaling, okay? I, I give you an example, so by the mouth is much more powerful than only the nose, but we can do even like this, okay? So you do it one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, it's up to you. Okay, I just show you a short example, like a sample, okay? You hold like this. Okay, so... I explain. The first one, the cycle, you can do it one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, it's up to you, but start uh, not too much at the beginning, maybe one minute, two minutes, okay? You do it. And then you finish by inhaling a lot. And you, bo you block, you hold your breath for, let's say, 30 seconds, one minute if you can afford, one minute and a half you can afford, even more if you can afford. And then, but just, when you inhale, you're going to see and you're going to feel that, wow, it's still affecting you. But it's calm your mind, definitely. You feel ooh, like super stable. Okay. Another technique, which is more shamanic, uh, holotropic and so on, breathing, which is much more um, powerful. This is, um, let's say, uh, longer as well. I explain. It's less r rapid than before, but it's the same principle. Huh? It's... like this ceaselessly for minimum five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, and maybe 20 minutes. Why I say maybe? Because it's absolutely up to you. Some people um, take off after five minutes, some people need 15 minutes, some people even more. Okay. When I say take off, what does it mean? It means literally there is a moment. It's not a question of chronometer. Huh? You not uh, um, you don't measure time. It's just a feeling. Okay. Naturally, we will, you will stop it. Okay. You will stop it once. Uh, your body. Okay. After a while, you stop to do it uh, to to breath. Okay. You do. And after a while, you're gonna stop naturally. And then at this moment your amplitude okay of inhaling exhaling are very slow very slow and at this moment usually you you um, you penetrate another world in a certain extent your uh, state of consciousness changed okay it's like you know a, a rocket okay a rocket there is a um, impulsion impulse sorry okay and then um, if it's 
far enough, it is out of the stratosphere. There is no gravity anymore. So the rocket will never come back on Earth. It's the same principle. Once you reach a certain threshold, okay, um, you are in a, a speed cruise in a certain extent. Okay, so that's the point. The goal is to arrive a minimum to this. Okay, I invite you to test and to try it. Be careful if you have a problem of breathing and so on. I decline any responsibility for that. Okay, so uh, percussion, you know, repetitive drums and so on can help as well huh, to, to be in a certain uh, state of mind. I recommend uh, the key 40, which is one hour. This is uh, to facilitate just this is uh, um, let's say um, a montage huh, for which there is different uh, superposition of sound for losing your mind and so on this facilitate the out of body experience and um, the mantra recit um, recitation like uh, you know uh, repeating one word or a few words and so on like this it can also uh, accelerate the process of going out um, binaural sounds what is it this this is a frequency a nut and another one okay so there is special music for that you can find on the internet we did uh, those also for our meditation but you can find thousand on internet okay so those are specialized for facilitating out of body experience I invite you to try everything if you consider it's vibrate and to adjust and not to try only once but at least to to repeat and to adjust to have some corrective action according to the vibration and how you you feel them okay one thing i want to precise to to finish and to conclude there is no danger not to come back okay there is no accident with that uh, there is a special uh, you know silver cord okay uh, this is a um, silver um, sorry, uh, the cord of Ariane, okay, there is a, a cord linking us, uh, linking us uh, to, so if we are afraid and so on, we naturally come back. There is no way to stay outside. But one of the danger, and that's why it is in the mythology, uh, Greek mythology, the, the cord of Ariane, and also uh, linked to the myth of uh, Icarus, Icarus, uh, uh, is asking for flying in the clouds and so on and the, the father say to him advise him not to go too far and he goes too far and there um, he is burned um, by the sun so he, uh, he melts and then he goes in is uh, is sinking in the uh, the sea is a metaphor to say is not the finality okay out of body experience astral travel is just a springboard it is just to open up some gates or some consciousness and then to come back to reality and not to be completely blocked and to be eliminated over there forever and so on. Life is here, now here and in the materiality also we are here to do this experience. This is the contract of our soul. All right, um, I invite you to think about all this. Um, this is only one key for you to help you to I mean, to try to help you to shape the master key to open up the doors of consciousness, of the love, of whatever you want. As you know, all the roads lead to Rome and to home and to the dome. Thank you for your attention and see you very soon.